Site M. The Nine Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. It contains strong violence and some coarse language. Spring Rabbit presents... A. Kinky Santos Productions. I don't think that, that that's how I say uh, cocky. Wait, how do you say that? <laughs> don't mind that. Channel 7. Linda! Do you believe in global warming? Some people say yes, and others m may say no. Regardless, we all know that pollution causes harm. But what exactly? Today, we are... Shit, what was that text again? I don't know. I'm just the cameraman. Who reads the text? Was you? Shit, I know. Let's just take a break, okay? But we have just started. We have Eric with the car! I'm just a little confused. Can you bring me a water bottle from the van while I get ready? Eric with a K. Okay, I just want to finish this as quickly as possible. Damn, Linda. Stubborn Linda. Just a cameraman, I'm not your assistant. You're not damn royalty. This is the car that... This is our car, right? A car? No, it's not our car? Okay. Well, we would have a Channel 7 van, Ethan. A Channel 7 van. Would we not? Where the hell did I park the damn van? Why are there so many TVs that we can watch Channel 7 news on? Can I take a dip in my favorite polluted lake? Come on, Eric. Let's finish this quickly. I need some water. Yeah, I'll give you some water. I assume you want me to go this way. Is that the van? That looks like a shape of a van. Why is it mysteriously parked in an alleyway like we're gonna... Totally just blow up the building. Why is it behind a fence? Why? Why? That makes zero sense. That means I had to go all the way around here. Turn to the left. Turn to the left again. And park here. Like, that's normal. Open. Pick up. Close. Noise. What is this ambience all about? Somebody parked his car right at the entrance of the alley. Which you should have done. Which you should have done. You're the idiot here. Ah. It's all here. Guns, ammo, accessories, jewelry, and much, much more at the all-new Ernie Bean Great Southern Gun and Knife Show. Come Gun and Knife Show. shows for you. Buy, sell, swap, trade. Come early and bring a friend. It's just for you. Bigger and better than ever. It's the one, the only one. The Ernie Bean Great Ah. Uh, it seems that he is leaving. Good. Good, he is leaving. Channel 5 News does not deal with... Here you go, Linda. That... Do you have, like, a... Uh, like, smoking lung? And, like, you just put it in the hole in your neck? Thanks, I couldn't finish the recording. Dying of thirst. Let's get started. Today, we are in Willowbrook, in a region surrounded by abandoned land that is connected to the forest. Often resign, often residents pass through this area to dump garbage. This is the current situation of one of the lakes in this area, and the smell of this place is horrible. Why does the mayor of Willowbrook seem not to care about this? Why do the environmental authorities pretend not to see this because they don't have actual authority? Government has authority over environmental, they're just supervising what authority should do. Should we really treat pollution as something trivial? We may be poisoning our waters, destroying the soil, the plants, and our nature. We are. We are. We totally are. No matter where we are, we are doing it. Could this attitude of ours be contributing to the end of our only planet or even destroying the lives of the next generation? I'm Linda Turner, Channel 7 News, Willowbrook. Cut. Right, that was the last recording of the day. I just want to go home and rest now. I'll wait for you at the van. Well, aren't you gonna drive yourself, princess? Guess not.
Guess I do everything around here. I am Eric after all. What a day. I'm exhausted. I think I will take a nap. Damn, that was a quick nap. Damn, I need to rewind the tape of today's recording. Where did I left off? Oh, this thing? You want this thing right here? I'll take it. Oh, we put it in this thing, the VCR, baby. It does not fit into that VCR thing. How did you do that? I think this is going to take a while to rewind. I better take the garbage out. It is already starting to stink. And we'll throw it into the lake. Oh, we have a pumpkin. Not a pineapple. We have a pumpkin. Why? Why did I play two games with a pumpkin? This is a pineapple, guys, okay? Every, if you haven't seen Patrick, if you haven't seen, um, Potrick too, I called a pineapple. Wait, no, I called a pumpkin a pineapple. All right, just put the garbage away. Doesn't really matter, does it? It seems that this dumpster is already full. There must be another one around here. We're gonna dump it into the lake. We're gonna dump it into the lake. It's that car again. You're not gonna drive by shoot me, are you? How'd I get- Oh, there we go. Okay. We're back inside now. Wonderful. What is this? My cactus is knocked over. No. No. Is stuck. How strange. Oh. Someone's calling. I must pick up the phone. Hello, little Eric. Damn it, Eric. We are screwed. Linda, what happened? We didn't finish the recording about the rise in unemployment. Why didn't you fucking remind me of that? Whoa, relax. Why do you always want to blame everything on me? Can't we just record this tomorrow? I thought we had already recorded it and assumed Tom that everything would be on his desk tomorrow morning. Shit, what do we do now? I have a plan. Meet me in the office garage. Okay, I'm coming. What is this? Am I driving the van? Are we both in here together? Okay. Very spooky. Who is watching us? I'm going to open the gate. Be quick. Why do I have to be this far away from the gate? I get it, you don't want to hurt the van, but like, come on. Why? 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 Why are we here? What are we doing? Wait, what is this for again? I don't remember. Um, we forgot re to record something, but why are we here? Oh, the right, uh, the, the unemployment, right. I need to find a way to get the van to the main building. I can open the gate somehow. Okay. Is this not the main building? Is this not the main building? Do I have to go up to this building up here? Will you allow me to go up to this building with graffiti? I don't think so. Oh, yes you will. There's a way. Alright, what is over here? Oh, there's a door. Ha ha. Ow, that was loud. That's real loud. Up the stairs we go. Hello? Anyone home? We're here to ask questions about the unemployment rate, how it's affected you. This is a no smoking area. Please. What? Uh, never mind. What is this room? Junk, junk. Nothing useful here. A fuse. Damn. Why do we need a fuse? Why is there just a wall with a, a void in it? We don't need that. Excuse me. I have the fuse, do I not? I have the fuse, but it doesn't let me use the fuse. So I'm kind of confused. Oh, I'm on the other side now. That's not- that's interesting. Alright, here we are at the main building. Let's see what's this- I don't want to enter the building by myself or something like that. You damn puss, Eric! Eric's a puss. Eric's a puss. Puss and boots, puts and boots, puts in boots. No, I did not. I have an inventory. Okay. Okay. Thank goodness I didn't go back. 
<laughs> Thank goodness. I okay. Uh, I have an inventory that I can use. So I assume if I look at this correctly, and then press that. Magic, baby. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now we can go outside this hole. Walk down in a super slow pace. And then move the car to the factory. Great. Okay. Ow. On the internet, I'd rather be on my computer than doing just about anything. It's really cool. The internet gave us a whole world of exciting new possibilities. So I guess this is a story of how it changed our lives. Maybe it will yours too. With the I don't like what I saw. Why does she look naked through the window? Shit, Eric, it looks like the whole bridge. Oh, that's what the sound was? Oh. How are we going to get out of here? I call Tom. The station will send a helicopter. I'm surprised to have telephone singing in this place. The signal here is better than in town. They must have installed towers near this place. Anyways, let's continue the recording. The helicopter should arrive soon. Right. Can we do the recording of unemployment in the helicopter? That would be a lot more um, interesting to the viewer. And like you, the the reporter, would jump out of the helicopter at a certain height. And like you'll go as close to the ground as possible. Like to where the unemployment percentage is. Like if it's at like 5%, you should be 5% away from the ground of, from where the helicopter was. And pull your parachute and see if you survive. And that tells us if our economy will, will survive. You ready? Let's do it. Are you sure this is the right factory? Yes, Eric. I'm freaking sure. What a stupid question. What is wrong with you? You are becoming more arrogant every day. If I didn't have a cameraman, imbecile? Look, Eric, I'm sorry. I know you've been working and bending over backwards since the other's helpers disappeared. Sorry to take it out on you. It's okay. Let's finish the damn tape and have a dinner in that restaurant downtown. What do you think? Sounds like a great idea. The town of Willowbrook experienced a moment of great sadness recently when the local factory, which was the main source of employment in the area, went bankrupt. This bankruptcy seemed to have been caused by a bad investment of the company in the purchase of a machine. The company did not disclose many details about it. Many residents of Willowbrook depend on the factory to support their family and now find themselves without a job and without options. The situation is even more worrying because the town has no other factories or industries that could absorb the unemployed workers. The closing of the factories also had a direct impact on the local economy as many businesses depended on the money the factory workers spent in town. The situation in Willowbrook is a sad reminder of the importance of keeping industries and factories running and the impact they can have on the local economy. We hope that the town can find a solution to this problem and that the residents can find employment again soon. Right? Is that all? Actually, I need your help to make some recordings inside. You don't think I'm gonna go into this creepy factory, do you? Come on, Eric. What are you afraid of? The helicopter's coming from the network. We'll be here any moment. This may be the last chance to capture the machine that destroyed the town's economy. The people of this town must be dying to know what, what machine caused them to lose it all. If we get this recording of said machine, this news broadcast would be our biggest success. The only bridge that was coming here is broken. No other Metacrib Porter will be able to set foot here. You're right. Get the camera lighting equipment in the van. I will wait for you inside the factory. Aren't you afraid? I've entered thousands of abandoned places in my entire career. The most I have found is some homeless person. This is not a movie, Eric. Right, let's go. But it is a horror game, which you do not know you're a part of. So let us grab... Uh, the rabbit, the, the light? Oh, camera. Lighting. 
Yes, very nice. Flash. This is very useful. You did not buy the most powerful flashlight on Amazon. That is for damn sure. This is terrible. I think I found something interesting in the room on the left. I need you to make some recordings. I'll wait for you there. On the left, you say? Today is the last day. I honestly don't know how I can sleep at night knowing that many families will go without food. At least you have morals, my man. But the deal has been made. They will ask me to choose someone who will not be missed. And so I did. They did the rest. I sold the factory to them. And in a few days, they announced bankruptcy. I'm moving far away from here. Even though I know this guilt will always haunt me. I hope God can forgive me from what I have done. What did you do, my man? It's dirty and broken. What's this music all about? Excuse me? Are you here? Are you alive? Where, where did you go? Linda? Linda? That better be you playing your Spotify list. It's not what I've listened in the van before, but... Why is there... Oh, it's just a jump shoot. Okay. Hello? Hello? Linda? Linda Barber. We gotta go to a rest tomorrow after this, aren't we? This is loud music. Linda? Linda? Did you turn off the music? I thought we were going to have, um, sexy time together. This is the chopping block? Is this the machine? It looks like some kind of shredder. This kind of machine is not worth a fortune. Not enough to bankrupt a factory. Gotta check every door because Linda's missing and we haven't said anything about it. Which worries me. Where the hell are you, Linda? I guess the only way to go is a down. There's nothing around here of interest. Why is the factory like this? Why is the layout like this? It's like walking through a maze. <laughs> oh! I was just trying to go whisk my guy. Well, you gotta, you gotta just... Linda, I'm er Eric. My god. This is his camera. Shit, 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 shit. Why is this happening to me? My phone? Are you okay? Where are you? I'm inside the factory. I think there's someone in here. The entrance door is locked. I found Eric's camera in the bathroom. I think Eric's dead. I'm hiding here. My god, I am too desperate. Calm down. We are here in the front. Just unlocked the door. Lisa is calling the police. We are all at the door. Do you think you can run? I think so. If I stay here, he will find me. I have an iron bar in case this motherfucker is after you. Thank you, Tom. Shit. Okay. I only have one chance and I need to run to the main entrance. So Eric died pretty easily. Really, really easily. And I mean super easy that I don't want to name my characters Eric. Oh, what was that loud sound? This is the... You piece of shit. You're sacrificing me to the sun god, aren't you? Oh my goodness. Connection lost. What's this? What's this all about? Building massacre room. Is this? This is the red room's access. What is this? Is that Eric? Channel Seven News is a is a um a self-sacrificing center. For content. <laughs> oh no. It is with great sadness that we announce the disappearance of our beloved reported Linda Turner and our dis our tireless cameraman Eric Williams. Last seen in our station's garage. We are working closely with local authorities to find them as quickly as possible. Please keep our team in your prayers. And we ask that any information that may help find them be shared with the authorities immediately. This is a difficult time for us all at the station. And our thoughts and prayers are with the families. So I can read that all. M. The Line Network recommends viewing by mature audiences. 
It contains strong violence and some coarse language. That's why you say strong language, uh, st strong violence. Yeah, it didn't make sense before. Now it makes sense. All right, everyone. I hope you all enjoyed Channel 7. But as always, anything down below, kindly appreciate it from you by me. But be well, farewell, but most importantly, bye. For now, though.